Welcome back guys to the next episode of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess where of course last one we beat the boss in here and the Yeti woman has mysteriously disappeared now strangely enough after a save game and reload but today we're gonna go off on one because usually after a boss I go off on some kind of meandering non-structured thing throughout the land and that's kind of what I'm gonna do this time except structured now you guys have been sending in throughout a lot of the episodes I've been doing heart piece locations or this or that and it's now it's time to just you know reap the rewards that I get from your information and pick up a goddamn load of heart pieces hopefully so let's just step through the portal see if there's any story events I'll get you out of here you're sure there's nothing else you need to do right yeah I'm pretty sure we've got two heart pieces in here it's all good just teleport me out Midna to whatever story scene we're gonna see No, I don't want to save, I'm fine. I did literally just save after all. Back out of Snow Peak, reforming. No Midna, no story scene, no nothing. Anything, anything? No, okay then. Can you actually climb back up this way? Well, I guess you can. What's a Poe up there, in fact? Actually, do I need to get up there before? I change into a wolf? Uh, no. I need to wolf. So anyway, I'm getting across the snow in good time, isn't it? So is there a simple way up, is there? Followed round. And this is what happens. I, I, I see something and then I end up meandering. And this is how my episodes go between bosses and stuff. Oh, hello. Loads of dig spots. I don't really want to use that move because it's going to send me off. A lot of people keep constantly going, you can use your B move to uh, one-shot the ghost. But uh, the B move also is a little less controlled and it kind of bashes you against things from time to time. And I should be hitting with most of these jump strikes and that's why I use them. Ah, oh, that reminds me as well, we could go see Giovanni. But I'm off on a warping adventure. We're going to find some heart pieces, starting with the very, very first one I missed. We go to Southern Faron Woods, and we'll come up into the center over there. Starting from the start, so to say. There's been loads of messages about heart pieces here, this, there. Of course, we need a little bit of money as well, because I think our donation amount that we need to donate is 300 rupees for the bridge part. So, I mean, we got other things to do as well on top of that. Falls over something different over there then, strangely enough. Can we get some horse grass, please? Thank you. Let's get a pony over here and start off on our journey. Such a great song. Let's go, pony. Let's go. Let's go, let's get on. Go, go! We have things to do, people to see. There's mini games to play in the next couple of episodes before we head on for the next storyline. Hopefully, we might get one, maybe two, and you know, I don't know how many heart pieces there might be to find, so you never know, three heart pieces before the next dungeon, which would be pretty tasty. And hopefully, in really quick time. Hopefully we can get probably at least four, maybe five heart pieces in the remainder of this episode alone. So this is what we're going to aim for. First heart piece of the day. I've seen this one in one of the videos I did and man did I get loads of messages about this one. Stop, stop, stop. Look at that. Up in the corner by the tree. And I missed it. I just, I just rode past it several times. I don't understand why, but I did. So we boomerang it down. Oops, do we actually let go to boom rank? Why do I keep pressing buttons? Another piece of heart, so we only need one more for another full heart container, so... Off to Kakairika, we're gonna go round in a kind of circle, as it were. Oh, Mr. Olives, wait! It's our favourite friend, where the enemies completely freeze, it's a secret power. Greetings, Mr. Olives. I've come to deliver a letter. There's a letter for you, Olives, two letters, in fact. Okay. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail! Hip, 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 hip. 
two letters? And popular. What do we got here? Agatha's dream. Agatha had a dream last night. Butterfly surrounded Agatha and lifted her up to the sky. As she waved to the people below in Castletown, she could see so many people, some waving back, others staring wide-eyed. Agatha flew in a big circle above Hyrule Field and butterflies formed into a bed beneath her and said, Let's play again! Soon they faded away and she woke up in her own bed. Oh, Agatha wants so badly to fly in the sky. Okay, Agatha, you're a bit... dreamy. From wife of Yeto, I feel bad. You paid me visit and I not much help. I feel better now. Husband and I sled loss now. Very much fun. All of you join us at Snow Peak sometime. Side quest. Probably heart piece, in fact. A mini game involving the snowboarding. Hooray. I, I bet you guys can't wait to watch me try snowboarding again and fall off a billion times. So the next heart piece on our travels is... I think there might be two in this section, actually, or maybe just one. Can't remember now. I know there's one for sure. One for absolute, positively, definitely. Over here. In fact, there might be another one later on, considering there's claw shot targets over there. You're not going to attack me, sir? That's fine. We've got a full heart container from it. What is down there, anyway? I can't look down on the horse. Just that. I want to know what's down there. Oops. Let's not check boomerangs at random. Get back on a pony and ride. Because that looks like a place for the double claw shot. Because I'm pretty sure you get one in this game from some of the targets we've seen so far. And if I wait a couple of seconds for it to drift into night time, we might be able to see some pose appear. Because I think there was a pose here in one of the videos. Yeah, something's after me here. I think I just disturbed a load of crows. Oh man, I can't go around there. Are we n he swing and miss. We're gonna miss. Ah well, let's just continue on. Who cares about? Oh, golden bug. Who cares about pose? Well, maybe not pose, but golden bug. Yes. Golden bug, very yes. It's a grub of some kind. You got a pill bug. Another 50 rupees to our collection total. Some crazy music on right now. All very action oriented. Let's head through to Kakariko. See how much we need to still donate to our friend Mallow. And then we're off, off on a journey still. More heart pieces to be gained. Alright then, Mallow Mallow Mallow, is your shop still open at this point in time? Because that's always the problem with you, isn't it? Yes! The first time we head to Mallow's and it's just completely okay for once. Oh, here we go, donation box. 250, Ah, oh, come on, I'm so close. I'll have to come back here again. I'm so close. Just need a couple more rupees. Could probably earn it in the graveyard or somewhere. But then probably by the time I get the rupees, the shop will be shut. Catch 22. Catch 22. Oh well. Let's continue on on our quest for hard pieces. So the next one is in this big field section. I've been told about the uh, the mini game you can play to lower certain costs of certain things. But as you see up there, there's some rocks and some vines, and that is where our next heart piece should be. See, lots of people give me lots of information. It's pretty damn good. All right then. Get away, blow that up, and we have a journey to take. A long pathway round to discovery, and hopefully some rupees as well. It's probably going to hit night time beforehand, so that kind of... Whoa, whoa, jump, whoa, jump. Probably ruins any chance of finishing the donations. Well, can't win all the time, eh? We can always port back to Kakariko. We got the portal. 
Um, do I jump this? Yes, that's fine. And I guess I bomb arrow that. Lovely. Um, jump it or claw shot it. Never mind, jump it works. Super quest, super quest. There's going to be a fair few mini games coming up as well, because of course we got the. Uh... Is it down here? Yes, we've got the chicken mini game where we have to land on that platform to do the parrot mini game. Lots of Lake Hylia stuff, more or less. Oh god, I hope I'm not falling off into nothingness. Good, good. It's time to cross this whole stretch here and hope not to die in the meantime. Let's get just normal arrows out, thank you. And let's go. Of course, we're going to be completely swarmed by enemies if we don't get across as fast as possible. Come on, opponent, just leg it. As soon as we encounter some walls, we know the enemies will just fall on their asses anyway, or their faces more like. There's a gold bug we've already got. Get away from me. I hate you. Now I'm going to crash into a wall. Cheers for that. And there's <laughs> they're in the distance bumping into pillars and stuff. They're just so bad at this. So as soon as I got the spinner, people started messaging me about grind rails. There's grind rails out near the bridges of Hyrule. So let's head to one now. Supposedly it should be just past the bridge. It's not up there, is it? Oh, dodge it, dodge it, opponent, dodge it all! Ah, there's the grind well. Found it, found it, found it. Just don't shoot me while I'm getting off the horse. Opponent's invincible anyway, so it's all cool. Right, grind rail, grind rail, grind rail, grind. Go! Oh, there's no hot piece down here. There is a very obvious round circle, though. Very, very obvious. I love how they make the grotto so easy to find in Zelda. So, as soon as the 3D Zeldas came about, they made sure that every grotto had some kind of really obviously distinguishing marker. Oh, hello, Stalfosses. Can you not defend very well against Wolf Link? I guess Wolf... We probably can't do much damage with Wolf Link either. There's loads of them, in fact. We need to put bombs on. As a priority. Can I just shatter them? It's very, it must be very hard to defend against me if I'm using the ball and chain. Yes, it really is. In fact, the ball and chain can destroy them after. No more bomb usage. Lovely. That was a very simple and simplistic solution. Simple and simplistic. Well, if you say the same thing twice, it means it more. That's rules of life. Yet another piece of heart to add to our collection. And let's continue going around. Some of these locations we've seen during the video and puzzles that are around. So I'm going to stop at them. Some of these, of course, as I've said. Very much thanks to you guys, so thank you anyone who suggested any of these spots I'm currently going to, you are the bomb. Go! Hopefully your opponent's still waiting for me, yes. Someone said that these brick rule rules over there, the ones I couldn't bomb, they're something to do with Gorons, so we'll see them. Later on, I guess. I don't know exactly what to do with them right now, but... Whatever. Next, we're heading to one of the puzzles we saw earlier in the game. Of course, in Snow Peak Dungeon, we got the ball and chain, and that has the ability to just smash through ice really, really nicely. And if you remember it a while back, we came up against an ice cave. Now, where was that? It was... The top, wasn't it? Around here, yes. It's time to check out what's inside. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Pona, go, go, go in. I know you're not going to actually be able to go in the tunnel. Bye, Lizalfos. Don't care about you. We're off to find stuff. Right then. 
The wall that we could not get through before, people thought, ah, those flames might be something to do with it, and I thought it was as well, but no, it turns out... Just smash it. If you can't win, just smash it. Okay, we have block puzzles, hooray! Block puzzles! Ones which we have to make our own platforms out of to get to the thing, which is really actually simplistic. In fact, I may as well do it this way around. Less moves then, I think. Or actually not. Wait a second. I need to get it to here, but if I can't push it over there without a blocker here... Okay, you slightly have me confused now, game. I thought I had that already, and now I've probably gone and confused myself when I did have it. I was, of course, just going to push this one up here and then leave it as a third block here. But then I need another block. Oh, what am I thinking? I was doing it perfectly correct. I'm just an idiot. Sometimes I'm just... I got... The solution was there in my head. Instantly. Instantly. And then I second guess myself. And that's one of my main issues with any kind of gaming. It really is just one of my major issues. When well, this one's all the way round, we can push this one over. And then that will make the second stopper. I don't understand myself sometimes. You know those moments where you just... You just... You have the answer right. I mean, you know exactly what you've got to do. And then all of a sudden, doubt creeps in. It's one of those mechanics in computer games or anything like storytelling. There is doubt in your heart. It's a weakness. We will take you over from within. Kind of thing. We need two switches done. We have three platforms. I was thinking originally to get one block here, but that's probably not going to do. Hmm. Let's think about this for a little while. Yeah, I'm confusing myself right now. Originally, I thought put this one here, move that one over there to there, then I can move it down onto the switch, but then I have issues elsewhere because, of course, I need to get one there and I have no easy option for that. Or don't. Or. No, I don't. Um... Is this a case where I just second guess myself again? Because I do that a lot, after all. I do that a lot. Let's think about this for a second. For some reason, I'm just going to start moving blocks around because my my mind has this set way for me to do it right now. The rest of me just isn't following. So we're just going to start moving some blocks around and I'm just going to work it out as I go. This is boring, but I can't really tell you the working because I'm not sure exactly if my working's correct or not. If you know what I mean. I, I, I can't tell 100% if it is or not. But as you can see now, we have a way to get straight... <gasps> Wait. No. Second guessing myself again. Now we can get that over there. Do I have the blocks I need left, though? I mean, let's just move it onto the switch. That's one of the two doors. Probably be something like, I wish they'd put that in the game. They stick a block puzzle right in front of you, right? And you're doing the block puzzle, and really there's just a hookshot target up there. And the block puzzle itself is unsolvable. And you don't know it. You keep trying, you keep trying, you keep trying. It's just a hookshot target. The obvious answer. That'd be kind of cool. I would like that. Right. So I need... A block... Here. And a block... There. Which is just, you know... Not really going to happen. Or... 
or... Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Block here. And then over, I think, is the correct answer. Yes, it is. Over. No, no, not yet. I have to wait. I have to wait. I have to wait before I put it over. I have to wait before I put it over. That way. That one down. Now it can go over. Because I have room to push the next one. Oh, block puzzles. Oh, block puzzles. You are sometimes tricky. The simplest kind of gaming puzzles. Been there since the dawn of time. But it's still there for a very good reason. I don't know why more games don't use it nowadays, actually. I mean, there's not exactly many action-adventure games coming out. We are in the age of the FPS, after all. It's all people ever want to play. Which sucks. Right then. So the way we're going to get into the middle here is if we build up... We have to build up two middle blocks, basically. It's the same as the puzzle in the ruins, isn't it? It's the same puzzle. I'm pretty sure I'm correct with that assumption. It's the same puzzle as the first sliding block puzzle we had. Or maybe the second one. Whatever. So we're basically going to build up our block supply from here. Oh no, I, I gotta leave it here. I gotta leave it on that side. Right. That is if I'm correct. Now I'm actually second guessing myself again, and I think I'm right in second guessing myself. Let's keep moving it around though and have a look. It's really hard to explain my thought process because it's not like I can like if there were grid coordinates for where blocks could be because there's obviously five blocks wide so if I said like A5 and laid them out then I could explain my working. But without that I can't. It doesn't work very well. Too bad I can't make my own stoppers so to say. If I could life would be a lot easier. You see what I'm up to at the moment? I'm not sure how correct this is. I mean, I can obviously build up a two. So I, I can have something to push it against. But then if you pay attention, I have, yet again, nothing. He says when he's a moron, because of course, this is the exact same mistake I made with the Blooming Snow Peaks one. I can still move this block, that block stationary now. Why? Why, mind? Why did you do that? It, I'm doing the puzzle correctly, and then I second guess and doubt myself. It's ridiculous. How bad it is? It's the exact same puzzle. Blood and hell. Sometimes you just gotta hate yourself, and I do it quite drastically, I've gotta say. And that brings us back up to three pieces of heart, and if I'm correct in saying, that is. Five for the level. Five for the episode. A whole piece of heart collected. So we're going to look for more heart pieces next time, guys. I'll see you next episode. Thank you for watching this one. I'll see you guys around. Cheers for helping me.